Hey friends and welcome to a brand new video. It is your creative weird makeup artist pal Kat to bring you another makeup effects transformation. I was going through movies that I have never seen, specifically characters that I've never created on this channel and one of them that stood out to me was Babadook. But before we get started, Shout out to these people who have been leaving amazing comments. If you want to support this channel even further, I do have an Amazon wish list to help the makeup studio. And I do have a PO box where you can write me as well. I appreciate you all so much. But without further ado, let's get started with the makeup. Now I want to put a wig cap on because even though my hair kind of resembles Babadook, I'm going to put a wig on just because it's easier because we're going to have a hat on as well and the whole coat. The reason why I recently just saw this movie like I told you is because I was researching characters that I've never attempted or even seen on television screens before. This character was one of my favorites and I'll tell you why. I remember this came out a little before, like, it was popular right when I started makeup school, so back in the 2014 timeline, and it's not even about the character as much as it is about a haunted book. When I had one of my first viral hits of Valak the Nun from the Conjuring series, it taught me a lot. It taught me what made a character not only terrifying, but rememberable and super frightening to people. And that is, usually it's like the eyes or the mouth, and there's like some sort of like great story behind it. And why I love Babadook is because it checks off all of these, what makes a viral character good and rememberable, because it's not even about the character, it's about a haunted book. And it's a children's book, or made to look like a pop-up bedtime story children's book, that actually haunts not only people but like homes and you don't even see the full character's outfit i think that's key to not seeing their full face for very long just a short few amount of seconds throughout the whole movie that's also why i think that pumpkin head character from trick or treat was so terrifying and rememberable as well it's one of my favorite movies and that's why I love this character. It's simple to recreate. It's very memorable. The name is so unique and rememberable. You don't see all of it. Like it's just a hat, like a pale face with a toothy grin and this dark cloak. It's more of a shadow figure, almost like the hat man, but hyped up. And I love just the writing in it and the twists in the movie. I know this is an old movie, but I just loved it. And as you can see, I'm doing my usual steps of brow covering with glue and powder. I do about four. I just like having a blank canvas where I could paint on top of my brows later. All right, so to start off this makeup look, I'm just going to get a white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to start doing the outline of the eye area because we're going to have almost like think of the skull structure of your face, feel where your orbital bone, like where your eye socket is and starts. And that's where you're going to do like these areas, it's all going to be black and the rest is going to be white. We could do some shading on the nose as well, just to give more detail since it is such a, in my opinion, a simple look. But you never know because white face bases can be so tricky and they smear, they crease, and they can look very blotchy if you don't use the right makeup for your face. I'll show you. See, looks simple enough, almost like a jack-o'-lantern. So I'm just gonna get some white cream face paint. This is from Bin Nye. Makeup Forever makes an amazing one as well. These cream paints, you can use them with your fingertips to heat it up and warm it up a little bit to blend nicer into your skin. I am just going to be using a brush since we're doing it around these orbital bone sockets that we drew on. And you want to do the white first because it'll be easier to put black on top of white than white on top of black because the smearing, the mixing of colors that you're going to get is going to look a little too ashy gray if you do it the other way where black goes first. So white is always a good option to start off with. It's easy to layer black on top of white than it is to layer white on top of black. Oh, and if you have not seen Papa Duke, and you want to see it, if you're a mother, it's gonna be super hard to watch. I've noticed that a lot of people I've known who've seen the movie did not like it if they were mothers, and I could totally tell why, according to the storyline. 
It deals with possession. There is some, unfortunately, animal cruelty in it. It's very intense, but most of these horror movie characters are. And I'm just doing my take on it with this makeup. So let's do this. It almost reminds me of the start of a sugar skull. Again, why it's good to get a brush too at first, especially in like those crevices of the nose. If you wanna do on the outer perimeter with something that isn't a little brush, using a makeup sponge will be really good that's a little damp. These ones are great. This is by Wet n Wild. It's one of my new favorites. They're super affordable and they're very similar to the texture of Real Technique sponges and beauty blenders. Amazing. And they come in fabulous colors. I don't know if they're gonna do it year round other than on Halloween, but I love, they have this big burgundy one that I love as well. Or is that, that might be Elf. I'll post that up here too. Oh my gosh, this is also reminding me of clown makeup. I also do not know why, but clowns are one of my absolute favorite makeups to recreate. There's something so whimsical, creepy, and a little bit cute about clowns to me. A lot of people, I think, find clowns scary because it reminds me of a them of a two-faced person in real life. Like, it looks like a fake smile on top of something hidden underneath. But I also like that. Not in people, of course, but in clowns. I don't know why I've always liked clowns. Even, like, It was the one movie I used to watch constantly as a child. I'm talking when I was 8 to 13 years old. I just wanted to watch It over and over again. The one with Tim Curry. Once we have this white cream face base down, we could powder it. My favorite powder go-to for most makeup looks is the RCMA No Color Powder. If you have white eyeshadow or something, you could definitely do that as well. Just getting a large powder puff and... I'm also going to get the same white cream paint to paint in more teeth so the smile looks crazier and extends. And I'm going to paint these teeth and my real teeth as well. When I smile, it's gonna look like it extends out. We're gonna get a thin brush with the black paint to paint in between these outer teeth that I painted. And we're gonna start painting this as well on the outer parts and the eye sockets. This is when people walk in on me and they're like, I keep smiling and creeping myself out. Imagine waking up to just this. This makes me wanna watch this movie again. I'm one of those people who listens to songs and watches movies they love over and over again. Like, I could watch Coraline two or three times in one day and not get sick of it. Which I'm thinking of revisiting that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to redo Coraline. My makeups were so trash when I did it. I feel like I feel like I could do... Well, they weren't trash. I could do a better job, you know? I put these a little too high, I think. There. Ooh, before I do the rest of this eye, I should definitely color my water lines. Also, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should because I'm totally thinking of doing holiday gift guide ideas for makeup lovers on TikTok. I always do videos like this on YouTube, like what I think is the best holiday sets to buy because so many companies come out with all these holiday sets and they're so amazing, so worth it. Some of them, not all of them. Like right now, I think at Ulta, if you spend $65 to $85, you get free hemp's lotions and like body creams and stuff gift sets from them that are full size which is an amazing deal i have a feeling they have like rules where it's like it can't be a prestige product meaning like you can't buy your urban decay there or your benefit stuff with it towards the 65 dollars, but whatever i also recently got like a 20 percent off at all bath and body work stuff i've seen dangerous you know what another makeup I've always wanted to do and I've seen the movie of this but I've never done the makeup is Sinister. Oh my gosh. I remember that movie was absolutely terrifying to me when I saw it. It was a while ago but I remember it being terrifying. And I remember being so in love with the face of the creepy creature demon looking thing. I'm just doing little lines. It reminds me of the Joker but of like laugh little lines and stuff and creases. And some like smeared bloody looking paint stuff here. Like almost like black ink. Because that's the thing in the movie too. Like people start spitting black looking blood ink out. It's amazing. Because I'm creepy. Other than this Lunatic Labs palette that reminds me of Book from Hocus Pocus. That's a sacred item in my kit for characters and stuff like this. Another great one. I mean look at all those cool warm tones. It's amazing. Another great one is a colorful matte eyeshadow palette that has an amazing blendable matte black. This one specifically is the Makeup a Murder Crime Scene Edition 
this crime scene murder themed makeup company. I know, amazing, right? They're just picking up and I've been following and loving their products for a few years now. It's amazing. We're just gonna get a fluffy blending brush and just dip into this and do some shadow. Not only in our eye region to prevent any creasing, but as you could tell up here as well, to blend in to make some shadows around the eye. And some shadow on the nose especially. On the forehead a little too and around this mask white. I'm even gonna get a thinner brush, liner brush, to do some more wrinkles because again, we don't really know his true form, like what the details of this face looks like. We just know there's two black holes and a wide toothy grin. Now, if you did not know, there is such thing as tooth paint. So I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing this, but there's tooth lacquer paint. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you may know that there this exists, but you can paint your teeth with it. It's totally safe. You just have to dry your teeth off and paint it with 99% alcohol to activate it. This, whatever white face makeup paint you use is gonna show every stain yellowness of your teeth because no one's teeth is pure white like this. So my teeth look disgustingly yellow right now and they're gonna look more disgusting with black paint. And now we are almost done. We just need our wig and outfit and hat. Any black top hat and black coat will do. I feel like the crow, but like a generic version. Oh, and this step is totally optional, but you could put in a white contact lenses. These are from PeakyParadise.com. And just like that, we've completed this whole entire makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot see right now, but this was so much fun to do. I love this movie, The Babadook. If you haven't seen it and you like scary movies and you're not squeamish, you should check it out. You could even do like the long black fingers with this look. That'd be so cool. I just wanted to do a makeup that's easy for people to attempt as well. I guess just watching my favorite creepy movies and recreating the characters from it is just my all-time favorite pastime. And you guys even make it so much more better and fun. All the products I use in this look will be listed down in the description box below along with all the links. And to support my channel even further with my Amazon wish list, a PO box. I'm telling you my cellar water with a reusable makeup remover cloth is the best makeup remover. Leave a comment down below, should I redo Coraline? Leave any ideas. If I pick your idea for a makeup look, I'll definitely shout you out. Oh, I forgot about my teeth. Oh no. There we go. Bye for now. See you later.